Hello and welcome to the Geek and Bee. I am Bianca the Bee in the Geek and Bee. Welcome back to my channel. As always, what I like to say is you guys should always celebrate your geekiness. There is nothing wrong with being weird, dorky, or geeky, and you should not let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? If you guys are new to my channel, hello. Uh, if you guys want to, you can subscribe to it and celebrate and be part of my celebration of geekiness. I like to celebrate my geekiness, and uh, hopefully you guys do the same thing as well. All right, uh, this video is another Halloween-themed video, and like I've mentioned before, I absolutely love Halloween, and what I wanted to do is show you guys my Halloween decorations. So I have been doing it for like two months now. Since, I'm not going to lie, since like September. Maybe like a little bit to the end of August to September. So I've been I've been constantly searching and going online and, and going to stores and uh, Halloween shopping for months now. And I have a lot of already classic things that I've had for for the last couple of years and that I've added to it this year. So what I wanted to do is show you guys my Halloween decorations. And I'll just show you, I mean, it's nothing crazy. I find it to be nice and simple, but I still love it and I'm so excited. And a lot of the things, my sister was like, no, why are you buying it? Do not buy it. I'm like, well, too late. I'm going to do it anyway. So it doesn't matter. Uh, but... She really, I'm not going to lie, there was a couple things she really didn't want me to buy. I was asking why I was doing it, but I'm like, how can I not? I'm so excited. Plus, it says last year, around October, I was moving. I moved, so I didn't really get a chance to, to celebrate Halloween like I can now. Like, since we recently moved, everything was still packed. And it was a mess, so I couldn't really take all my stuff out and, like, have decorations out. So I've been, like, extra excited because I've been, like, denied it for, like, the last year. So, I've definitely been having a great time, for sure. <laughs> I've loved it. So, what I'm going to do now is just show you guys my decorations. And that's pretty much it, alright? So, let's get to it. Alright, so first off, we have something tiny. It's on my fridge. Alright, it's just little fridge magnets that I got. Of course, some Dollar Tree little bats. A nice little witch. Like, it's different parts you kind of stick together with. A collagen. It says trick or treat. Can't really see the black, the purple. Some dark ones a little. Yeah, sorry, lighting's not the best. But yeah, so that's that. The very first thing. I showed you this. It's the apron from my, uh, whatchamacallit? The hand towel. I had to kind of add this because I went and I ordered something from this place and they always had great packaging. They did Halloween themed packaging, which I was really happy about. So I just have it hanging. I have a little ghost cookie jar which has cookies in it. Oh, I believe so. Let's see if my sister ate them all already. Oh, yeah, pretty much ate them all. I gotta make a new one now. Then I have the couch. I have this incredibly comfortable uh, blanket. You have no idea how freaking comfy it is. And it's just potions, which is so freaking cute. And then I have my Jack Skeleton pillow, which... Maybe I'll just add the image in right there of Sally's. My sister did pick it up for me, but I haven't been able to get hold of it yet. But I had to come out with the video for this week, so there's none there. And then I have, I kind of stuck this on my <laughs> my cat tower. But it's like a cute little, the cute little ghost one that I use a thumbtack stick in. And then I have this Frankenstein minion, which oh, I got this from Comic Con a couple years ago. And I, I saw it as an exclusive, it's a bait exclusive. But they had like a mini version and then they had this jumbo version, which I wasn't too crazy and the facts were so big, but I couldn't help it. I had to get it, look at that. So I put it out every ha uh, Halloween. And I have this awesome, awesome, awesome phone I got last year. So it's like a rotary phone. You move it, it lights up and rings. Look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> and it gives just, it has like different quotes. I love. My nephews love playing with it and mess with my sister to get her just to pick up the phone, which she doesn't always do. Then I quickly have this little one that actually moves uh, with the sunlight. So it's solar power, powered, solar powered. The tail moves like, hold on, like that a bit, which is adorable. Then I have some stuff on the window. Some ghostly stuff. 
So the main masterpiece is my TV. So I don't have anything on the walls, which I really did want, but I couldn't find anything I liked. So this is the main area. So on top of my TV, I have two lanterns on each side. They no longer light up because they died, but what can you do? I have this ghost that is whoop, motion censored. And it literally just says that. Then of course I put some of my Halloween pops, which I actually do believe I'm missing one. I have my Hocus Pocus, which I recently got this one a couple months ago. It's the only one I needed. And there you go. This one was a Funko Shop exclusive I got of Halloween camera. I'm like, how can you not? It had to. Uh, the other lantern, another ghost. So a bunch of stuff just fell, which that's a joy for me. Uh, ghost. Super cute. Have a witch. Which I've showed you most some of this stuff already. It's like my newest. Alright. Whoa! That almost fell. And then I have my bottom section. Alright, so I have this little lantern thing and it has a light inside but the light doesn't light it's dead as well I have a bunch of snow globes I got most of this stuff from like Dollar Tree so I have this awesome snow globe of a ghost and pumpkins and has like skulls on it and stuff which is amazing I have this one it's a kitty cat with a pumpkin and it's on like in a cauldron which is one of my favorites I have these two like bobblehead thingies one says eek, the other one's just mommy. I have, me and my sister, we made our own custom pumpkins. So this is my sister, she did this. They're ceramic, so we painted them. She did this one. Uh, we also made like little, little mini figure thingies. This one's mine. I did Frankenstein. Uh, that's the lanterns I got. They both light up. This is my newest gorgeous amazing thing that I love so much. And it's a potion. Look at that, man. Even in the dark, it's like the sickest thing ever. I love it. And then this is the one my sister did, which is not as good as mine, but very nice. Uh, another snow globe. I had an, a Frankenstein one to match with it, but when I took out my ornaments, I saw it leaked. So it broke, which sucked. That was really cute. And I didn't see any of these this year from Dollar Tree, so they're doing different things. This is the pumpkin that I did. Uh, then we had R.I.P. Skeleton and a Boo Pumpkin and a Eek Frankenstein in like another cauldron type thing with glitter, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then we have a treat, uh, Boo Pumpkin, and then that's the lantern thing actually lit up. So I have one more thing and I'll throw a video in on it and I got in... This amazing inflatable, which is laying right there, uh, unfortunately recently died on me, so I have to get new batteries to fix it. Like, I swapped them, but they're not putting air in it like it should. So I'm just going to throw the video in of me when I originally got this, but it's like a really three-foot thing. It's super cute, and it's five bucks from five below. Oh, also, I'm going to throw a photo of, I haven't tried my candles yet, so I'll probably do them right now, and then show it to you guys. So it took forever, but I'm finally getting a drip. Look at that. So it's like, I don't know if you can really tell much because of the, um, the flame light, sorry. Uh, but it's like red in the inside. So when it drips, it drips red. Looks kind of pinkish. Not the best because the lighting, but oh my god! And then it just drip, 
and it bleeds down. I love it. Wow. And I'm bleeding. All right, guys, and that's it. That was my Halloween decorations, and I love them so much, and they look so great. I'm so excited. I'm so happy with a lot of them. Yeah, so that was it. I just wanted to show you guys my look. Uh, questions to you guys. Have you guys decorated for Halloween? Uh, if so, what do you like to do for Halloween time? Like, how do you decorate? Uh, do you have a front porch we could decorate, or you just do it inside the house? Uh, do you tr do you have candy out trick or treat for um for kids? Uh, me myself, I don't have a front porch. I live in a building. I do decorate my door and I decorate the inside the house. I don't really do candy. I think we went and had some last year just in case, but I'm not really home. For um, Halloween, I go out to retreat with my nephews, which I, I love to do every year, so it's not really something that I do. Unfortunately, is be home to do it, and I don't think there's too many kids within the building to really have, you know, like when I was younger, literally when I was younger, I would go to my grandmother's house, and we literally went to every single apartment in that building, all five floors. It was pretty big building. Pretty big building. And like, tr and go and ring everyone's bell, trick or treat. It was the best thing ever. Um, but it's not the same anymore. Which kind of sucks, but I just think people are just cheap with their stuff. Uh, but yeah, okay. Um, so that's me. I'm just gonna go trick or treating, and I I'll definitely dress up. And uh, so I'm not gonna be home to do it, but I I love to decorate the house anyway. If you didn't see my first video, I, I I'm doing my own 31 days of Halloween video, where every single day for the whole month I will be watching some type of Halloween horror sci-fi. A supernatural type movie uh, in celebration to it, which I'm really excited about and really happy. It's been great so far. Um, so if you guys want to check it out, if you want to see my list, you should you should go and check out my video or on my Instagram. I go and I post every single day which video, which movie I'm watching, so you can find out there as well. Okay. Um, and that's it. Okay. If you guys have actually went and and decorated for Halloween. And it has posted it up like on Instagram. If you want, you can tag me in the photo so I can see your amazing displays. I really love to see what other people do. Uh, one thing I've seen lately this year is like Halloween Christmas trees. Like Halloween trees is like Christmas trees, but it's like Halloween themed, if you guys get that. It's obvious. And it's been super awesome and decorations and stuff that people do are amazing. So I would love to see your, your guys' stuff if you have it uh, posted on Instagram. Because I'm only on Instagram right now, sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, if you guys want, you can hit that bell notification uh, down below. So that way you'll be aware of whenever I post a new video. Because I do not have a specific day I post. Uh, but I do post every single week. So if you guys want to be aware when I do, hit that notification. So you guys can see the rest of my Halloween month. And just be part of my geeky celebration, alright? So thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.